Weather first storm tracker, she's been in and out of it. I think she's out of it still. What's going on, Sydney? Hey there, Gary. Yeah, we are out of the storm tracker and we are in Gerald where we've been tracking some of the floodwaters that have risen on the roadways. And I'm here with Chief Weiss from the Gerald Rosebud Fire Protection District. Hi, good morning. How are you doing today? Chief? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for asking. Now, I know you guys have had a busy morning already. Tell me a little bit about what you've done. Well, we had heavy storms coming through the area early this morning, and uh, I've even got reports of four inches of rain in 30 minutes that hit here. Uh, it started out with uh, basements filling up full of water, endangering electrical, so that started our early morning hours here. Um, and then we had uh, multiple areas with water over the roadway on Highway 50, and as you can see right here at 6th Street and 50, which I heard was under three foot of water. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite witness that, but we had about two to three foot down there west of uh, Gerald between Rosebud. And uh, we had three uh, vehicles stranded down there with people stranded inside the vehicles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got them removed, got them to safety, and uh, that's it. Yeah. For right now, right now we're out cutting up a tree down on a highway that fell down, so. There's so much, so much to do, and you guys yeah. have been able to tackle so much. You guys are a volunteer fire department. Uh, we yeah. talked with Hayden a little bit earlier, y'all's a fire captain, and he yeah. told us a little bit of that, of what you've been doing. I know you've been driving around. Yeah. Uh, just behind us, we do have this house that we had some questions about. You said that there were some houses that have basement water damage as well. We don't know if this is one of those homes, but what have you been hearing from families who are dealing with damage? Um, I haven't heard a whole lot. Just, uh, you know, can we help pump the basements out, you know, get the water removed? And we have. We've been assisting them in any way we can, and I'm sure it's not over yet. You know, we'll get more out of this. I'm sure many of them are not even aware their basements are flooded yet. Well, Chief Weiss, you know, we are in the in the end of round one of this rain, but more rain is on the way. And every time before we get into these storm situations, we tell people about driving during this time and how to stay safe. What message do you have for people who are going to try to drive during these storms? Pull over. It's mm -hmm. like me when I was driving down here this morning. I had to pull over. It was raining so hard. My wipers on high wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if there's water over the roadway, turn around, don't drown. You know, you can die doing that. So please turn around. I can't stress that hard enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so yeah, yeah, please, you know, and, and, and when you got rain like this, drive slow. You know, you don't have to go flying down the highway like I witnessed this morning mm -hmm. with some, and that's what happened down there. And uh, just, just slow down, slow down or pull over. It's, it's real simple, Thank but turn you. around and don't drown. All right. Thank you so much, Chief. Slow down or pull over. That's a great message, and it echoes what we've been talking about all day, you guys. Uh, just to check in on this water that I showed you behind us, uh, it's receded pretty quickly, which I said is great for the families who have homes in this area. They can start to assess whether or not they have damage and tackle that. Guys, I'll send it back to you.